My favorite yoga pose is Gomukhasana with eagle arms. So I go like this. And I feel really relaxed and empowered at the same time. Yoga became a part of my life once I started traveling. Um, I was really stuck at work, uh, working as a nurse in Los Angeles. And once I left and explored Asia, I dedicated more time to my practice and dropped everything in LA and moved to Bali where I've been teaching here now. BKS Iyengar has influenced my practice most over the years because of his personal story and the way he's able to master the alignment. Three words my BFFs would describe me as would be loyal, silly, and hopefully they would say sweet. <laughs> Right now, my biggest struggle with my practice is my right shoulder. So I had a recent injury, dislocation, and kind of just working through that in the asanas has been a bit challenging, but it's all part of the journey. I have two dogs, and they're the sweetest dogs ever. Bodhi is a Balinese dog, and I've had him a year and a half almost. And then I have a new dog, Chewbacca. He's really small and sweet. Um, never thought I'd have a lap dog, but I'm really glad that we, we just adopted him like a few months ago. So they're super fun. They're like brothers. They're adorable. So my favorite mudra is Anjali Mudra because it's a greeting here in Bali and like in Buddhist cultures as well. But besides that, I probably come into this pose 20 times a day. It makes me feel strong. It makes me feel connected. So here, this is it. Try this one too. <laughs> The one thing in my practice that I can never do without would be allowing the breath to like initiate the movement. And then even before I start moving, having those like nice moments of deep breathing, ujjayi breathing, really gets me settled in before I start the asana. Top of my playlist right now would be MC Yogi, if you're watching this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Jaffaman. I love Jack Johnson. But uh, during my classes, I don't play music. We are very fortunate here in Bali to have beautiful sounds of nature around us. So usually tune into that for my classes. I think humility inspires me most when I see that in people. It um, kind of keeps me hopeful. On a Saturday night, I'm probably vegging out between my computer work I have, watching a movie, and a margarita pizza. Something about me that you probably wouldn't expect is that I can hold my breath for over four minutes. What I like about mind-body access is being able to spread the yoga knowledge, spread asana to people who don't have access to it, and making it as easy as a click of a button.